We all know that AI can do some pretty amazing things, but today it's time to put it to its true test. Can it add bass? We're gonna make some iconic photos even more iconic by adding bass. Let's have a look at what we got. Oh yes, this is perfect. Einstein's up first, pretty great guy, invented some cool things. Didn't invent the bass though, so first of all, let's add a beautiful body. Oh my God, what monstrosity have we done? <laughs> Luckily, Photoshop gives you some options so we can see. Oh, there we go, look. He was wearing some kind of sick jacket. We're looking good. We've got to give some room for base. Oh, look at our nice broad boy. <laughs> Add base. What? Oh, ah, yes. Closely related. Two things just as sexy, but yeah, we can't do that. Oh, no. <laughs> right, there we go. They're close together, those keys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely incredible. This is so much better. We've got this like triple pickup P base here. He is rocking the hell out of this thing. A little bit more subtle. We've got a nice strap on here. I like the first one the best personally. First one, success. Now the Mona Lisa is of course iconic because it asks the question, is she smiling? Is she not smiling? Real question on everyone's lips is where is her bass guitar? Add bass guitar, please. Oh. Oh, look at her go! Rocking this sick P bass. Giving her like a whole new lease of life. She's got her jeans on through this. Oh, we got like a stingray going on now, kind of thing. I like this one. I like the low nature of it. Ooh, no, 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 no. The AI clearly isn't clever enough yet because that definitely not a bass guitar. Uh, the, <laughs> the fingers on this one are perfect. <laughs> Let's go controversial now. We're going to do some UK politics. Sunak is going to get the bass guitar treatment. Gosh, what a sad little rat man. Oh, we've got it. This is perfect. He's going to be giving us that stanky bass face. What kind of bass do you think Rishi Sunak would play? It has to be blue and something like really egregious and almost like um, transphobic, perhaps. Whatever it is, he is noodling away on it and I do not want to hear the song that he is playing. Oh, wow, look at his ring. My goodness, some fraudulent documents, perhaps and they've had to blur it out because there's something awful going on there, I think. I think let's go with this one. Add bass guitar. Go. What is the most Tory bass you can imagine? Oh my God. Yeah, I can see him playing like some kind of really boutique, really in your face. I've got a lot of money and you haven't, so you can't have this bass. Um, and it definitely looks like one of those. Look at that, look at that slug of a hand. Oh my God, I just kind of, kind of digging this burst that's going on here. Lipstick pickup, humbucker in the bridge. That's not gotten quite right. Let's go with this one, very good. Moon landing, yes. Only one thing can make him more famous in the world right now by giving him a lovely bass. I'm gonna let it be left-handed or right-handed depending where they want his arms to go. Oh, oh no, 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 no. It's almost like Ibanez ATK. No, it's it's clearly six strings. We don't like that. Oh, acoustic bass. Ooh, no. Oh, and it's a guitar. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh my, no. No, 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 no. Is this adding to the conspiracy that the moon landing is fake if it can't get the bass guitar right? I don't believe that. No, 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 it's, that's, that's basically a mandolin. No, 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 a mandolin, I went to school with her. Now the only thing that can make Jabba the Hutt that little bit sexier uh, is with some bass guitar. You can just imagine it, like the scene, the egregiously CG version of Return of the Jedi when, when the singing's going on in Jabba's palace, pans over to the big old slug slapping away. Oh yes, there we go. First off, let's let's give our guy a bit more room to breathe. <laughs> it's 
Why is it giving him a hat? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I kind of like the hat at base. Ooh, weird dar. I've never been more excited about anything in my life. Oh, it's a weird strap. Lipstick pickup thing. Oh. <laughs> There we go. This is the Empire branded Darth Vader signature base for sure. Like, look at that. It's got Vader written all over it. Ooh, oh, I like this a lot. This looks a lot like it would come straight out of Star Wars. It's kind of asymmetric. Mm, lovely, beautiful binding on it. I feel like we have to go with that one though. I like his little flipper hand it's given him and the, the like Darth Vader aesthetic, so. Yeah, that's a good one. It absolutely had to be done. No, no, no. <laughs> now this is the picture we need. Straight out the box, slap in the base. It's perfect. <laughs> he looks so proud. Jabba the Hutt got me excited, but this is just on another level. Oh, ooh, okay, we got a beautiful, very swampish you know, uh, three string bass. I feel like he's cobbled it together. Now he's dabbling into fretless. You know, he's a big guy. He kind of looks like he's got a double bass just across the lap there. I love now, I love the color. It looks like he's got a GoPro attached to the headstock. He's filming at a gig playing for all the fairy tale characters. It's just too many strings, too many strings. It looks more like a guitar. So for that reason, we're gonna have to go with the um, Swamp Ash Shrek signature. Now sticking on the Star Wars theme, Mando is definitely the kind of guy who's gonna play the bass in his spare time. We're gonna get some cool iconic stuff from Mando here, I think. Oh no, oh my god, his arms, no. Oh no, what is that? Oh, he's got a lovely little, like a pincer hand going on now. Oh dear, it's not It's not like this at all. I thought it was gonna be really good. All right, let, I'm gonna try it again. Give it a slightly smaller area to work with. I feel like he would have like a Thunderbird or something. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, yes, come on. Look at how iconic this guy is. He should be playing in Kiss. Oh, oh, I'm so, look at the, the sun peeking through. I'm so sad that it's kind of messed up his hand. Cause that is perfect. And then ooh, two string bass. <laughs> no, it's it's gotta be this one. Right, we said Thunderbirds. Let's see if we can give like flipping Scott or Virgil. Um, a bass guitar. Virgil was my favorite. But okay, God, look, that is a sexy puppet. He is a handsome man. I'm a bit worried about what it's gonna do to him now, but here we go. Oh no, oh no, he's melted. <laughs> oh my God, was he pulling someone's head off? Oh yes, oh, I was giving him some lovely like driving gloves here. It's not quite done what I wanted, but that is a sick five string. Look at the thick B on that. Nice. No. Oh dear. Um, I love the, the framing. He's got a pick. Of course, Virgil Tracy plays with a pick. He's sick. Let's try again. Let's try, let's do one more with Virgil. Um, I'm hoping we can get the same energy, but just better bass. Oh, yes, look at that. It's like a Billy Sheehan type P bass mixed with a Fiesta Red with a taut pick guard. Nice, he's still got his pick in his hand. Very good. It's not a Thunderbird bass though. Oh, <laughs> now he's giving it a bit of slap. Look at the shine on that plastic hand. That is so good. It's so scary at the same time. With his humongous hands. Bass players do have pretty big hands. Add Thunderbird bass guitar. I'm 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 spoon feeding it here. Oh no. Oh it did not like that. Oh no. Oh no. He is the bass guitar. The true Thunderbird bass. He's got it built into his tum. Oh, that is a toughie. I think we're gonna have to go with this one. I like the colours. I love the weird combination bass going into potentially bad waters here. <laughs> if he has like an acoustic bass, amazing. 
It always gives them really long bodies for some reason, which I love personally. Oh my goodness, what is he, Captain America now? Okay, we can work with this one. Let's make bass guitars great again. So the only thing that would make me be on board with this guy is if there was like an iconic video of him slapping the bass. Oh, <laughs> I said it. I said he's going to have an acoustic. No, no, Trump. No. Oh, he's got a cheeky little jazz bass now. Again with the acoustics. This is a sign, man. There we go. He's got a drummer behind him as well. He's he's on stage in front of the American people. This one's this one's for you. I've got my new bass here. It isn't made in China. Made in the USA. This Fender jazz bass is made in here. Right here in the USA. It's not made in China. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now, I saw Barbie at the cinema. Absolutely loved it. Could have done with some more bass. Now, of course, if it's a Barbie bass, it's got to be pink. Oh, just when I thought I couldn't like Margot Robbie more. Plucking away on a 70s style PJ Fender. Really liking the um, black and white P bass look. I think this short scale uh, suits it even more. The black and white jazz bass, really going for it there. Definitely want it to be pink. Let's get a shell pink bass on there. Here we go. This looks like one of those awful Dean uh, bases that was all pink and had a pink fretboard as well. That is what I'm talking about. Shell pink, top pick guard, jazz bass. Yes. Oh, <laughs> all the bass. I'm a sucker for this aesthetic, so I think it's going to have to be this one. So overall, I think the AI is doing a pretty good job. It could do better in moments, though. There are a few guitars and acoustics in there. We really need to eradicate this idea that they're closely related because bass is just so much better. Come on, AI, if you're going to take over the world, you need to get these simple things correct. I'd really like to do some more episodes of this, so let me know if you enjoyed this and leave a comment down below with a suggestion of what pictures we should add bass to. Pick up in the cards or on the screen to watch some more videos, including one of my reviews and also my bass guitar podcast. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.